Welcome again to another video from RC Model Reviews, this time another flight with the Hobby King EPP FPV model using the FY21AP and the Foxtech 200mW 5.8GHz video system. Now I'm just lifting the model up in preparation of launch, notice the visual disturbances on the picture, that's caused by multi-pathing, the signal from the transmitter on the model is bouncing off the ground and interfering with the direct signal. Now we're away, we're flying now, notice the rate of climb, it goes up as high as about 9 meters per second at times, it's a very very rough day today, a lot of turbulence about and see we're still getting some of that multi-pathing as we uh, move away from the transmitter but once we get a bit of distance on, you see now we're out at 360 meters, uh, the signal is much clearer because that multi-pathing just basically disappears and notice the, air, the ground speed, 80 kilometers an hour but this will drop because we're swinging around to the north and there's a lot of wind today and you'll notice a huge difference between the w speed into the wind and the speed downwind because the, the figures on this on-screen display represent ground speed not airspeed. But here we are, we're now cruising, I've switched into the mode which gives us altitude hold and auto stability, that's the FAF in the top right hand corner of your screen and so despite the fact we've got the stability on the model is getting kicked around quite a bit and, and you'll see that uh, this carries on throughout the flight, it really really was a very rough day. Now we're drawing about 13, 14 amps at the moment as I cruise along at 38k. Uh, you'll see that now I've actually passed over the receiving antenna and so now we're moving away from the receiver antenna which means the propeller of the Hobby King model is between the video transmitter and the receiver antenna. That's why we're getting those horizontal striations in the picture, that's why it's sort of those flickering horizontal dark areas are simply the model's propeller modulating the strength of the signal being received. You notice that we're down to 16 kilometers an hour there, in fact we went down 17, I think we went down to about 13 kilometers an hour there at one stage heading into this very very brisk headwind. So I've opened the throttle a bit, we're up to 16 amp amps now trying to get a bit of ground speed on but it's a very very slow forward progress in this extremely strong wind. We're now 300 meters from home and uh, you'll see very shortly I'll cut to, save us the time, I'll cut to, uh, here we are, now we're further on in the flight, you'll see we're now 550 meters from home, the picture is still very good, in fact it's better if anything because as we move away all the effect of those, those um, ground reflections and so forth virtually disappear. We're cruising at 127 meters above the ground, that's about 380 feet, we've got a ground speed of 28, 29 kilometers an hour, so we're still going very very slow in this strong wind, um, we're pretty steady but you'll notice the model does pitch up and down a little bit because the, because partly because of the turbulence but also because we have not tuned the FY21AP uh, properly to the model yet, it's still oscillating a little, over correction on the altitude hold. Notice down the bottom right hand corner of the screen a temperature 56 degrees Celsius, that is how hot it is inside the model. That heat mainly comes from the batteries and uh, the fact that we're in a foam fuselage means it's very well insulated so it's got nowhere to go, it builds up inside the model, I'll have to cut some cooling ducts to try and keep things cool in there. And we're out to about 780 meters now from home, that's quite a way, picture is still very very good and we're heading pretty much due north which is into that wind, we've gone up to 30, 40, 39, 30, 40 kilometers an hour ground speed which is not too bad, you'll notice in the bottom left of, of the screen where we still have 11.2 volts from our battery pack, we're drawing 15 amps and we've used nearly half our battery capacity, we've uh, used 2,600 milli 2,070 milliamps of the battery. We're now coming out to almost one kilometer from the launch point and the video image is still quite good. Little sign of graininess there but nothing really to worry about. When I get to 1100 I'll turn back and uh, then you'll notice that in the turn, surprisingly enough we don't lose the picture in the turn which is quite good, I'm quite surprised with this 5.8 system but watch the ground speed now on the left hand side of your screen in the middle there. It's going up 64, 67, it's now goes up as high as 82, there you go, in fact it almost it hits 90 kilometers an hour I think here at one stage, there we go, 90 kilometers an hour, that's the difference between going into the wind and going downwind, I told you it was really really windy. At the top right of the screen we still have 12, 13 satellites in view which is extremely good, and now as we head back towards the receiver antenna you'll notice the picture again starts to get a bit broken up, starts to get a bit snowy in places and that's because we start to move into the realm of the multi-pathing and also because these antennas tend to have more sensitivity in the horizontal plane than overhead, the closer we get to overhead the worse the signal gets. And you'll notice that pretty soon it'll break up completely because we're sitting almost overhead the receiver antenna. Comes up any time now, see there we go, we, we flew overhead pretty much and we broke up. Now I've turned off the stability system, I'm flying, watch the speed on the left, 13 kilometers an hour, 16, 15, 16, 15, 14, 
you can see the plane is flying very slow. I'm just basically coming in against this incredibly strong headwind. I've put the nose down now to get a bit of speed up for extra maneuverability, but without the stability on, the model is getting kicked around something terrible in the turbulence. And But of course, being the expert pilot I am, I land it without any problems. And so that's another video showing you how all this FPV stuff works. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. See you again on RC Model Reviews.